I mean, listen, if, you, if you're still talking about in 2017, if you're still talking about we live in a post racial America, you know, um, racism doesn't exist. You're saying foolishness like that. Not only do you have a mental disorder, but you have been buried and in a bubble for over 500 years since the inception of the transatlantic slave trade in 1505. Straight up. Right. And, you know, Donald Trump continues to show why he's the white supremacist leader. You know, with his with his actual uh, press conference, he did, quote unquote, condemning the violence of this white supremacist pep rally that happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. He didn't condemn anything. He just basically enabled their behavior, which I talked about before in my previous video, talking about the Charlottesville, uh, Virginia, white supremacist pep rally. Um, but I'm going to play a clip from David Duke, the white supremacist KKK leader, talking about how Donald Trump um, was the focal point in fulfilling his prophecy to take this country back, right? So I'm going to play this clip and uh, come back with my commentary. Here we go. What does today represent to you? The camera's right here. What does today represent to you? Peaceful rally. Peaceful rally. This represents a turning point for the people of this country. We are determined to take our country back. We're going to fulfill the promises of Donald Trump. That's what we believed in. That's why we voted for Donald Trump. Because he said he's going to take our country back. And that's what we got to do. Hmm. See? I right, see. That's the thing about David Duke. I like David Duke in the sense of uh, now trending. My bad for the commercials. I like David Duke in the sense of that he's honest. You know, he knows he's a white supremacist. He knows he's racist, and he's overt with it. Show me your true colors. I don't want no covert white supremacist. I want a overt white supremacist. I want somebody to let me know I am a white supremacist. I am. I believe in separating from those black bastards. Those black niggers and anybody that's not classified as white, I want to separate from those people, right? And and I don't like none of you people around us. I don't want uh, miscegenation, race missing, uh, mixing. I don't want none of that stuff. I don't want you liberals, uh, liberals coming around here talking about let's come together. You know, I, I want my white supremacists to be straight up and honest. That's what I'm saying. That's my point, right? And so with the speech, uh, this press conference that I was talking about, uh, this is what Donald Trump said about the uh, white supremacist pep rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, that happened. Here's the here's the clip, and I'm going to come back with my commentary. Here you go. In the strongest possible terms, this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. Many sides, huh? It's been going on for a long time in our country. Mm. Not Donald Trump, not Barack Obama. I <laughs> see right there how he had to bring up Barack Obama. I mean, it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> to be honest, it was like uh, it kind of, kind of reminds me of um, the rapper of the game just name dropping people for no reason that no reason whatsoever. I mean, he had absolutely no reason to bring up Barack Obama to name drop him. It made no sense. It's been going on for a long, long time. It is no place in America. What is vital now is a swift restoration of law and order and the protection of innocent lives. No citizen should ever fear for their safety and security in our society. And no child should ever be afraid to go outside and play or be with their parents. And have a good time. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I hope some. Did, let me let me tell you something, man. Did somebody write that for him? Because that was the dumbest observation I've heard in quite some time. Your children shouldn't be afraid to play and go outside. So you basically saying that we live in a third world country? White supremacist leader Donald Trump. That's what he's basically saying. Like, we live in some kind of third world country. We we are, you know, some kind of uh, indigenous people on a remote island, like <laughs> some island out there that's inhabited <laughs> by people. Um, it's this dude. 
Doesn't surprise me. I just got off the phone with the governor of Virginia, Terry McAuliffe, and we agreed that the hate and the division must stop, and must stop right now. We have to come together as Americans with love for our nation and true affection, and really, and I, I say this so strongly, true affection for each other. Above all else, we must remember this truth. No matter our color, creed, religion, or political party, we are all Americans first. Mm. We love our country. We love our God. We love our flag. We're proud of our country. All of that stuff is cold words. We love our God. We love our flag. We love our country. Take this country back. Uh, our God, Christianity, a white supremacist religion. Um, all of that stuff is cold words for these guys to enable their abhorrent behavior and display why they are the most dangerous terrorists on the planet. And that includes law enforcement. We're proud of who we are. So we want to get the situation. Another cold word. We're proud of who we are. White. Straightened out in Charlottesville. And we want to study it. Mm, you trying to do something? <laughs> we want to get this situation straightened out in Charlottesville and we want to study it. Who does that remind you of, guys? Because I can think of, of many presidents who wanted to study abhorrent behavior, right? <laughs> and we want to see what we're doing wrong as a country where things like this can happen. My administration is restoring the sacred bonds of loyalty between this nation and its citizens. But our citizens must also restore the bonds of trust and loyalty between one another. We must love each other, respect each other, and cherish our history and our future together. So important. We have to respect each other. Ideally, we have to love each other. That, that speech, whatever the hell that was, Whoever wrote that shit for him, hot garbage. And it well, it's it's hot garbage in the, in the fact that it it enables white supremacist abhorrent behavior. All that was was a cold word speech for white supremacists to continue to do what they do. We love our country. We love this flag. We love being American, aka being white in this country, aka continue to do what you do. Alt-right, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, continue to do what you do. I'm not going to condemn you by name. I'm just going to be in, I'm just going to be vague and generalize this situation. That's all that meant. <laughs> That's all that meant, man. Again, like I keep saying, what's, what's the only solution to this particular situation where you have to replace this broken system of injustice with a system of justice? The only way is to completely separate and have our own resources from top to bottom. Economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. That's the only way. Many of us are not ready for that. Many of us will never be ready for that, as I said before. Straight up. Straight up, man. So, <clears throat> yeah, man, it is what it is. We saw David Duke. We saw Donald Trump, the white supremacist leader, enabling the abhorrent behavior of the white supremacist pep rally that happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. And, you know, it is what it is, family. Our, you know, um, 2017, elected in 2016, the white supremacist leader who wants to take this, well, this country is already theirs anyway, so. Um, but he wants to let them know to take this country back by any means necessary. Even killing one of their own. A white woman. So... <laughs> All in the name of protecting what is theirs, right? So anyway, family, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Till next time, family, Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.